Hey, this is Kimball here from Kids Cook Real Food. One question I get asked a lot by parents is, what knife should I give my kid? What's a good kid safe knife? So we've brought all of our kind of kid safe or knives that we like to use with kids here today. And we're gonna talk about pros and cons and what we think best knives are for kids. We've got everything from a dollar store paring knife to knives that are specifically made for kids to our old favorite was top six inch that you'll see in the Kids Cook Real Food e-course quite often, and even these plastic kid safe knives, um, as well as a couple tools that are meant to keep fingers safe, again, specifically made for kids. So we'll talk about what we like and what we don't like. This is an Apinel, um, I think it's French. Overall, I don't know, I would give it like a B minus review, maybe, what would you give it? Probably B minus. B minus, like it's okay. But again, these, it's for someone who's just learning. We would give Victorinox A. A. A minus. A plus. A plus. Well, true, because it's not a chef's. It's not supposed to be a chef's knife. A and A. What's tough? We, a. All, we all love. That's an A. Kai? A minus. B plus. A minus, B plus. Very respectable. The true chef set? B plus. B plus, yeah. B plus. Yeah, I would say so too. I would say so too. Um, you know, dollar store paring knife. Z. It's it's <laughs> sufficient for what you can use it for. Yeah, if you don't want to invest much. It's pretty cool. Or if you have one already. For the right food. Don't use it on an apple or a carrot. And we know what we think about super kid safe knives. They're, they're great for lettuce. This is our lettuce knife. Lettuce, yeah. <laughs> right? That's what they're for. So let's start with this one. One of the things we don't like about the kid safe knife, and Leah, you can demonstrate this. And I can't even cut it. Push harder! <laughs> Come on, saw blade it! <laughs> Not happening. Can you do, so we don't love that it's serrated because most of the time when you're like cutting actual vegetables, your knives aren't serrated. So you're gonna use a different motion than when we call saw blade every time you're using a serrated knife. Let's try cutting the end off the cucumber. Can you do it? So it worked, yeah. So really the Kids Safe Knife only works on specific vegetables. You'll never be able to use it well in an onion unless you're saw blading and really making yourself cry or celery, tomatoes, probably not because it's not thin enough, definitely not carrots, definitely not apples, which kids love to cut. So. Although I, these feel safer to parents, they bother us because it's gonna be the wrong motion and often more pressure than needed, you know, from, from little kid muscles. So it's just like more work than is necessary. And we just try to teach kids how to keep their hands safe. So let's talk about your least expensive option, right? If you want your kids to be able to use knives, this is just a dollar store paring knife. Most dollar stores are $2 now. So this will cost you two bucks max. And it's gonna have some of the same problems as your safety knife. You can't use it on carrots. Hmm, probably not for apples, just because it's too short. <laughs> Paul, why are you saying no? You got a story for us? Uh, I may have cut myself. Because? An apple was the paring knife that wasn't sharp enough. Wasn't sharp enough. And also, was the apple wider than the blade? Probably. It was, a, it was a big fat apple. It was wider than the blade. <laughs> was, yeah, so you just chose the wrong knife for the wrong job, yeah. for the job you were doing. Um, but a paring knife can handle cucumbers. Do you want to just cut a few slices? It could do like a zucchini easily, mushrooms, strawberries, all the things that we recommend anyway for kids who are just starting to learn to use knives. So in some ways, I don't see anything wrong with a dollar store paring knife for kids who are just getting started and then you can quickly graduate them to something bigger, which is exactly what we recommend, right? Butter knife to chef's knife, same techniques. These two knives are a set from True Chef, T-R-U Chef. They came with this cool canister, which is one of my favorite things because we put all our knives in there. Um, and they're, they're definitely made for kids. I want to say it's a like three and a half inch paring knife and then a four inch chef's knife. So as far as supposedly a chef's knife, this is definitely the shortest 
blade you can get, four inches for the metal part, um, you know, but it's still got a little bit of thickness like a chef's knife. Can we cut onions with this? Because that's what, you know, you have a chef's knife for onions. Paul, I know you have some issues with these. Tell us what you don't like about True Chef. Yeah, well, they don't have any points, which is really annoying for me because I like using the point to, for example, put an avocado. You have to poke, poke the point into the skin of the avocado to make the fish slip. Okay, so yeah, we do. We often use kind of the, the tip or the point to make the first entry cut, like maybe a tomato or an avocado. Let's see what they do on celery. So Paul's using the chef's knife. Good hold. It's long enough to get through all the celery. Go ahead and cut some like sticks for and some log. All right, so what did you think of that experience? Does it feel like a decent chef's knife? Yeah, I mean, it cut pretty easily. I mean, we probably could sharpen it. <laughs> <laughs> but. Sure, it's nice. It is sharpenable. So any serrated knife, of course, you can't sharpen at home. So these are easily sharpened at home. Um, I think, I mean, other than not having a tip, which, of course, some parents are really going to like not having a tip because there's no risk, less risk at least, of, like, the puncture wound. Mm -hmm. um, for you who knows a lot of knife skills, you're bummed about the tip. What do you think, Leah? Do you miss the tip? I do like the tip a lot better. Like, I'm using, like, this type of knife and that one. Chef's knife, I do like the tip a lot. Mm -hmm. I do like the tip a lot. Yeah, like especially when I'm putting watermelon. If even, even if that blade was longer and didn't have a tip, I'd probably try to cut watermelon with this. I wouldn't like it as much for when I was doing it. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm glad you picked up the kai because I think it's a really similar conversation. Like, look at the shape. The kai actually is a little more rounded at the end here. Um, but and, and then it's bigger, but otherwise it's very, very similar. So I want to talk a little bit about, like, if you were choosing between True Chef and Kai, I would say True Chef, if you have a very young child, you know, who's really moving forward in knife skills and really wants to cut a lot of stuff, maybe this is a great knife to choose because it's so much shorter. You know, the Kai is a five inch instead of a four, so it's a little bit longer. Um, the handle feels a little different. I, I say this one is a little more grippy. Yeah, it's definitely. got like the grippy bottom, which is nice. I like it, but I don't dislike the smoothness of the Kai. Um, the Kai is sharp. That's my one big difference. Do you remember when we first opened this one and we were like, this is a kid's knife? You guys don't remember. That's okay. It is very sharp. It's very, very thin. And like, there's no way I don't think you can see that on a video, but it's, it's just thinner. It's just thinner. And so it will sharpen sharper. So again, if you've got a kid who's maybe eight or up, eight, nine or 10 and up, um, and, and you are, you know, you want a rounded tip, but you still want a really nice sharp knife so that they can do Onions. Let's do onions with the Kai. Um, I do think this is a really nice knife. And they're both an affordable price range. Again, True Chef is a set. It's a five-piece set. So you can't, I don't think you can buy them separately. Kai is just a single knife. I want to say it's under $15. It's pretty nice. It is pretty nice. Onions with the Kai. Single cut, you don't have to saw blade it. Does it feel pretty standard like the chef's knife you're used to? Yeah, it feels a lot like it. It really does. I would say it's the closest kid knife made for kids to a chef's knife that you can buy. The only difference is that rounded tip. Hold on, I'll finish cutting it real quick. safe knives. We, I, we give the Kai, I give the Kai a hearty review and the only negative that my kids would add is that they do like to have that tip for certain applications and certain vegetables. And the handle is slippery. And the, man, no, and the handle is a little slippery. Really? It, it, you didn't love it? 
So the Victorinox has that, oh, I don't even know, it's kind of like those nicer deck chairs. Can you hear that? Where it's a little bit textured. <laughs> Leah's like, babe, the onions were all crying. So you, when you wash your hands a lot in the kitchen, your hands are often wet. So Paul would say this, you know, a little bit textured. And again, let's, I mean, we're just like connecting these knives together. So here's a five inch versus a five inch. The Victorinox looks longer, but they're both a five inch because the Victorinox has the tip. Victorinox not made for kids. It's just a regular knife. It's rated number two at America's Test Kitchen, just behind the Wustoff. Wustoff, very, very expensive. Victorinox, very, very affordable. This knife is between $20 and $25, $18 and $25. Um, so really in a very similar price range, price range as the Kai, but it has the tip and Paul would put, give the handle a leg up or a, a hand up. Since we mentioned our Victorinox, this is Victorinox five inch chef's knife. Here's our Victronix four inch utility knife. Fascinating stuff. Again, like this is, I think this one's under $10, really affordable. And it's it's tough enough that you can cut onions with it. We're not going to anymore, so we're all crying. But you, you can really do just about any chef's knife skill with this one. So this is a very nice option for smaller hands for a chef's knife. Tomatoes, of course, are always a special case because you have to use saw blade, really no matter what kind of knife. Now you could do, if you do one little poke, that will start it off and with like the tip. Yep, with the tip. Mm -hmm. So the reason I really like this knife is I also I like the grip and I like it's a small knife and it's really sharp. I like the nice tip. Obviously, like I said, I don't like this one because not on the tip. So I like the tip. I like how it's sharp and I like the grips. And I like how it's small and it still can do like a lot of things. I cut apples. I cut. This is the knife I use almost all the time. Yes, that's what I was thinking. That's the knife you grab for apples and every day. And this is... I use carrots, cucumbers. You do this one for carrots, too? I do that one for carrots, too. Mm -hmm. So that's good to know, because, I mean, carrots are, like, so then I thought a big chef's knife was, like, too big for the carrots. Like, the blade is almost bigger than the carrot. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. Okay, for the sticks. So, um, and this is also the one that her brother John, who's seven, will often grab, too. So this is, I mean, it's a powerhouse for a very affordable price, very easy to keep sharp. And, you know, like I said, the carrot's kind of the test. Like, if you can't cut a carrot or an apple, basic, kid-friendly foods that everybody needs to cut, um, then it's just not a real knife, right? It's just a pretend, yeah. it's just a practice knife. Five-inch Victorinox. Can it cut a carrot? Oh, yes, it can cut whatever it wants. This knife might be my favorite. It's in a very, it's in a race with the most top. But it's super sharp, it has a point, the grip is nice, it's not like too short for me to cut carrot sticks with, but it's not too long that like, it feels like I'm not in control. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have one knife, oh I don't know, it's gotta be like an eight or nine inch, and it does, you just kind of feel like, mm, I'm speeding down a road and the brakes might not work. Yeah. yeah. One thing I have to complain about this knife is that, like, this one. So this is the Wustoff. This is the four it's, inch Victor Knives. The blade extends like way below my hand. But with the four inch Victor Knives, like you can't press the blade to the ground because it'll just whack your knuckles. Mm. And you can't get all the way to the ground. It's way harder to cut anything really, like a carrot. You have to or, change your grip yeah. a little bit. So yeah, I totally agree. Any chef's knife, really. You grab the Kai, you grab the Victor Knives five inch. That's, that's the difference, is it's got that little space for your fingers to fit. So although the forage can be used like a chef's knife, it does take that little adjustment. And maybe, you know, maybe tiny fingers. Maybe Leah's tiny yeah. fingers fit under there better than yours. The bump still is even below the knife. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which True. The blade, blade and then plastic. Plastic and then blade. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's super different. Good point, astute observation. Now we keep we keep talking about my six inch Wistoff. Like this is kind of our standard for excellence because it's the knife that I've had for many, many years and my favorite, which means they steal it and everybody steals it. Um, so, you know, I'd say a six inch is the longest. You should go for kids. Longer makes you feel a little nervous. My tip is bent, I just noticed. 
very sad. Um, I mean, Wusthof is number one rated by America's Test Kitchen. It always, it's very easy to sharpen. It, you know, it's beautiful. Um, you know, one piece, there's fancier knives have like one piece of metal going all the way down the handle. So this will probably last longer than the Victorinox because the handle is plastic. Um, however, it's like 70 to $80. So you, you know, you could buy a lot of these, <laughs> four of them to be exact, for one with stuff. But it is a powerhouse. It works for everything. Um, and even, even Leah's small hands have no problem. You want to cut some cucumber with that? Sorry, Paul. Knife jealousy going on. So finally, we want to talk about some like safety tools that are just for kids. These are cut-proof gloves. So when you wear them, you're su supposedly the knife can't go through it and cut your fingers. We're not actually gonna test that. We could do it without a finger in it. We could do it without a finger in it. Maybe we will. Now, what do you think about these, Leah? I mean, like the obvious thing I'm the I'd rather put it in my bare hands, but if you were if you were really scared about getting cut, then they would probably make you feel a little better. They're definitely not for um, big hands. Mm -hmm. So you can see when the next day the way would fit me anymore. Yeah. So my concern with the gloves is always that I mean when I see my kids wear like plastic gloves if we're volunteering somewhere, the fingers are really long and they can't pick anything up and they're really in the way. And so that was my big concern about these gloves. But I'm pretty happy, like Leah has pretty average sized hands for probably for like a six to ten year old. <laughs> she's laughing because she's eleven. Um, she's tiny. But they really they do fit pretty well. And you were able to manage the knife and the food easily. Uh -huh. Here, let's switch you down to like the parent was afraid and was wearing those. It's a true chef brand. We'll go to the true chef knife. I mean, like, it works fine. Definitely feels a little weird, obviously, holding the feet like a glove. Right. Yeah. But you're used to not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you, could you hold the food? Okay. I could. I feel like a little bit, like, they might get in the way a little bit more of my fingers because, mm -hmm. like, I can tell, like, on the side, like, when I'm turning the cut. You know, mm -hmm. it's a lot harder when I get turned in like it's Turn a lot the harder to hold it. Which is when you want them because your knife is close to your fingers. So, you know, there's pros and cons. Again, I'm a big fan of kids just doing real skills and doing it the way they're going to do it the rest of their lives. But if you feel that you need a stepping stone, either because your child is very nervous or you are very nervous, I don't think these would be a bad investment at all. Again, they're very affordable, like between $15 and $20, I think. Finally, to be honest, we just opened this today. This is an Apinel, um, I think it's French, and we've got a knife guard that you put your pointer finger and middle finger in. Can you do that, Leah? It didn't really fit my hands or Paul's hands. And then you're supposed to, so this is like the classic chef's claw. Yeah, let's do that, whoa. And my kids are having a hard time with it because we've, we've never done oh, quite okay. this hold. You're supposed to use your pointer and your pinky finger and your thumb, I think. Your thumb's curved under to hold on to things. So, it's a little tricky. The knife has a hole to remind you where to put your pointer finger and then your thumb can either go on top or it can still kind of curve around naturally. Go ahead and cut with that. Let's see how it feels. Sharp enough. Um, I don't like this whole thing here. I feel like it's getting in my way. Okay. Um, but again, you already have knife skills. Yeah. This guard, mm, I don't know. I, I don't really want to say because I, like, I'm used to use my hand and, like, it feels super wobbly. Mm -hmm. Really, um, I feel like it's really just barely even touching the cucumber. And if you can see, it's just a point because, like, the rest of it's so curved. Mm -hmm. So, and that's kind of why I've always taught like an up and over soldier, hey, hey, out of the way hold, because I feel like kids' fingers are so much smaller that they need a little bit more surface area to touch the food, and this forces the classic chef's knife where you're, you know, you're really curving everything, which is safer and it is better, 
but I think it is harder to keep the food stable. So it's a little bit of a catch-22. I don't think this is a bad product. I think it's super interesting. Um, both my kids said, I don't know about this circle thing, but again, if it's if you're just learning, right? If you already have knife skills. Um, it is nice that it's a real blade, it's sharpenable, um, it does have the curved edge. So again, we're going, this is a kid knife, yeah. for sure. It's expensive though. It's more in the like, I think 40 to $55 range. So um, I would set a camel 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 alert to tell you when it goes on sale at Amazon. Since we're comparing to our Victorinox, here's your Victorinox 5-inch, 5, five, five inch, 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 inch. <laughs> okay. So you just kind of feel like, mm, I'm speeding down a road and the brakes might not work. Yeah. So, I don't know how that feels, but 